Once upon a time, there was an old wizard not so long ago with the, with the power to live in dreams and the power to teach others to do so by using playing cards. See other timelines and other dimensions and temporarily spirit possess other versions of himself living there and draw energy from versions of himself living in all the other locations to be stronger, faster, and spiritually powerful. This is me. I am my old wizard. And I have figured out different ways of going about teaching magical powers through playing cards. And crossing over to, to dream type worlds and stuff like that, which may or may not be real and come back when I feel like it and everything. Um, I made a, a page, which is posted on my channel, called My Old Wizard Superpowers. And that is my teachings on how to do so. How to cross over, how to do so much with playing cards um, to do with uh, um, like dream walking, spirit walking, and so on um, by using your inner spirit so you can go to other places. You don't physically leave this location. You spiritually go to a different location by possessing another dimensional self. Everything. Um, there's as many different dimensions with yourself, um, apparently on it, um, as grains of sand in a desert and everything. Um, I find this entertaining and I find it, um, uh, almost like a game that I like to play. Um, it is something that, that I find very, uh, uh, worth my time and everything. Um, I strongly suggest people read and analyze and try to master my old wizard superpowers. There's a video, there's about like four or something videos on this particular um, uh, way of doing things. Um, uses playing cards. The, the set on the board thing, um, that shows you, uh, what you are as your avatar inside the game. Um, like your character. Um, and then, and then the, the one below on the sheet is, uh, where you can go with that character. Um, either to like different places and stuff, um, using daydreaming, meditation, astral projection. So that's like stepping out of your body, um, like going around your lo location, um, and lucid dreaming. Um, there's different ways of going about these things. They're pretty much all like, uh, explained on the the mild wizard superpowers uh, 
puts a comment on that. Like sheet thing that, that I posted. This is just a quick uh, reminder that, that, that it's something that you should uh, really look into. It gives you something that makes you um, no longer just mundane or whatever. You are, um, you have the potential of becoming super in your own way. Um, just take the teachings from Mild Wizard Superpowers and do what you will. Um, there's a lot that you can do. Uh, what I do is, is I draw energy when I'm meditating um, from my other dimensional selves. So I have the energy to go places. Um, there's lots of you um, and there's lots of me. Uh, but I find, I find that, that the easiest way to find the energy you need is not by drawing energy or being a psychic vampire or whatever, drawing energy from the people around you. Um, it's best to draw energy from your other dimensional selves because uh, you already have that bond. You already have that connection through who you are and your genetics and stuff. Um, and like, yeah, I just find, I find that's the easiest way to, to, to go places is to, to gather the energy you need, go to the location you're focusing on and uh, like adventure that area, um, go on uh, some missions, go on some adventures and stuff in that area and then come back. Um, I don't suggest um, going to another uh, self and then using that self to go to another self because that's going that's kind of like inception where you're going too far in you're going you might lose uh, the ability to come back um, that's my advice is is just go one step in to the, like one self in don't don't go like multiple cells into the thing where you might lose track of who you are or where you came from um, unless if that's what you want to do you can go and get lost forever but <laughs> whatever um, and then you just constantly be changing from one vessel to the next vessel and using them as skins um, like different shells that, that you're living in temporarily and then you move on to the next one. Um, uh, because your body is like a vessel. Your body is like the shell that your spirit lives within. Uh, you can transfer yourself to another shell and another shell and another shell. But um, it's best to, to only go so far unless you already plan on going all the way. You know, um, I would say, say just go one shell adventure for a bit and then come back to your home shell and everything, your home vessel that you came from. Um, is it's, uh, it might drive you crazy if you, if you go shell, 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 you know, like different, um, uh, like different vessels constantly going in further and further away from you, where you came from in the first place. Um, that may be a possibility um, and probably would give you the ability of immortality because you would never lose um, uh, you, you just get stronger and uh, you wouldn't be tied to a particular vessel anymore you would just be, be a spirit on the moon uh, you you'd, you'd constantly be moving from vessel to vessel and you won't be uh, uh, planning to come back to where you came from in the first place. Um, that's that's kind of like the scary truth about it and everything is that once you learn how to actually go from your vessel to another dimensional vessel and so on, um, you might go like this so far away from where you came from that you lost that one 
Um, so you're you're constantly on the move, uh, and you probably uh, could uh, uh, achieve immortality, but it would be more like uh, possessing so many, and eventually you'd run out of versions of yourself. So you'd learn how you'd have to learn how to possess other versions of other people and become like a rogue spirit that um, is on the move constantly. Um, but yeah, that's my advice. And uh, just take uh, the teachings of my old wizard, um, Superpowers. Um, it's a video that's uh, possibly just below this one. Um, and I will title this one here the same thing. So it is found with the rest of them. So good luck. And um, hopefully uh, uh, everybody likes my channel. And hopefully uh, you suggest other people to subscribe. Also, if you haven't subscribed, um, try subscribing because I have a lot of other ideas that are in the works. And there is hopefully going to be ongoing um, teachings and possibly a, a, a video course that um, it won't be necessarily an official course but it'll be a course nonetheless it'll be kind of like a video tutoring process um, on freely teaching people how to go about these things um, uh, in the future so Hopefully uh, everybody likes my videos and um, I might not very very often make like face-to-face -face ones like me talking uh, Most of them are like slideshows, but hopefully you don't mind um, and uh, I'll try to make more um, of me talking uh, and hopefully everybody um, will uh, enjoy them and everything and I find their uh, my videos uh, I put a lot of thought into so have a good day yeah peace